Thanks. Uh, the man we honor tonight normally avoids these kinds of things. Uh, dinners with lots of people, uh, big groups celebrating, and the suit and tie thing I don't think I've ever seen him in. Uh, he, he really is a, a food aficionado and a wine aficionado, so I'm sure tonight's been complicated for him in terms of what <laughs> he's suffered through. Uh, but what he doesn't avoid is volunteering to help solve problems, professionally or personally. And that's why we're honoring you tonight, Mr. De Bonaventura. He, he does have one of those names that is like Sharon, Madonna, and Gump, and uh, it's Lorenzo. And there's no confusion about who's on the phone sheet or, or that he can actually uh, do something good for a bunch of different people. Um, what I think of, you know, that, that those of you who do know him will find just shocking and hilarious is that he's actually one of the most overeducated Hollywood producers ever to exist. So listen to this. He went to Harvard. He got a degree in intellectual history, which makes sense. He'd produce G.I. Joe, Transformers. He got an MBA. The intellectual history thing wasn't enough. He got an MBA from Wharton, a place I'd never heard of until I read his resume. Uh, and and, and from that MBA, which is you know, a business degree, his first job was to run a whitewater rafting company. Um, he, he's, you know, many things, Lorenzo. He's confusing. He's, he's highbrow and lowbrow, and uh, he's, he's all things that are good about art and, and about our business and, and about the people that are in it. Um, he started in showbiz at our very own Columbia Studios. Um, he spent 13 years then at Warner Brothers, and he eventually became president. Um, he shepherded movies such as The Matrix, uh, Three Kings, the Harry Potter franchise. Amy, I did leave out all the bad movies. I thought that would piss you off. Uh, here's a good story about Harry Potter. He, um, he, he, uh, Lorenzo and I had a friend, this, this English producer chap, um, and we'd been friends with him from the beginning of our careers. He was a really nice guy. He had an overall deal at Warner Brothers, and year after year, this guy failed. And I kept representing him for free, and Lorenzo kept paying his bills. And finally, his, you know, the deal came up, and uh, that it was just the time for uh, a normal studio head would say, you got to go. I'm sorry. I've carried you for too long. But Lorenzo didn't do that. Lorenzo kept him uh, and extended his deal. It was the sort of lowest moment of this guy's career. And six weeks later, that producer put a little book called Harry Potter on his desk. Lorenzo's a lucky guy. And... Uh, <laughs> And luck is a good thing. I say that in a, a positive way. I think we all make our luck, and we're not all blessed with it at all moments. But um, as evidence in the room tonight, there are a lot of people that believe in changing it when it doesn't work out the right way. And that's uh, how I think of you, Lorenzo. Uh, he's got really good instincts. He's loyal. He's brash. He's a truth teller. He's really creative. He's funny, and he's got a huge heart. And he and Kimberly, who you know is his better half by a dozen, uh, they've been together for 23 years, which says a lot more about her than him. Uh, I think he'll tell you that in a moment. But their two boys are here tonight, and uh, Enzo and Dante, and I, I, I know from the stories he tells me, um, he's incredibly proud of you, and I know he's glad that you could be with him. He's got all the good qualities of everyone that we've seen in this room, and some people uh, uh, you know, who know him well. Uh, know that he could have done many, many things, and we're happy that he chose to be in this business and allow us to honor him. So I'm happy to introduce you to my good friend, uh, a good force in the industry, uh, Mr. Lorenzo de Bonaventura. Thank you. 